The first round of the NBA playoffs continues as we get ready for game two on EA Sports. From TD Garden in Boston, tonight, the Boston Celtics taking on the Chicago Bulls. Hey everyone, with Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Celtics coming in. They were winners in game one. That's critical to get that first one in a five game series. And the important thing to remember here is that this is not a seven game series. We're only going five. So you've got to bring it each and every night and play like your season depends on it. Parker to Payton. The pass set it all up. I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Oh, Carter with the rejection. That's out of bounds off a of ball. Why even try that time? I'm going to start calling him the windshield wiper. Just erasing all the mistakes. Now ready with a couple of free throws. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. Alfred Payton at the line for two shots. Numbers not in his favor. 61% for his career. Off the mark on the first free throw. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. Was right there. Well, you can't finish with your right hand on the left side of the rim. You actually have to use your opposite hand. Steve Nash is one of the best at this. Different shots at different angles, high off the glass, expecting that there are trees down below with long wingspans that can block your shot. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Has a chance? Yes. When this guy's open, look out. Nearly automatic. There's only so many times you can hide from the truth. That was horrific defense. Just got to get it back on the next possession. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Nothing going here on that drive. It goes down. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Play is stopped. Timeout Boston as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. teams tweaking their lineups here come some changes calls out of Hayden with the basketball shot clock turned off as they get a chance to build their lead now a steal on a very lazy pass there Give it to him. Kemba Walker. First couple didn't go. That one is true. Deep three at the buzzer. We've reached the end of the first quarter here in game number two. Jay and I are back after this. It's the NBA playoffs on EA Sports.
second quarter set to start. This is what we like. This game is certainly in the balance. Both teams are trying to feel each other out, but I like the aggression that both The drive, right to the basket. Jason Tatum, able to recover with the block. Jabari Parker, he's two for two now. I mean, this is something everybody can relate to in their lives. It's happened to me while doing broadcast as well. Sometimes you're physically there, but mentally you're nowhere to be found. We obviously saw one of those same things happen on the court. To Payton. down slams it down well they have such great flow to their offense this evening the ball isn't sticking to one player individually it's moving around the perimeter and it's zipping they're playing with a special cohesiveness nice pace sets it up and slams it down whoa he got up there just showing you that 40 inch vertical chicago possession to levine sizing up the defense here comes the screen. Hayden. Baseline drive, the shot won't fall. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're gonna lower the chances of them making that shot. To Zach Levine. Good work defensively as the pass is taken away. Count the basket at the rim. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. And he finishes at the rim. Deep three at the buzzer. We reached halftime here in game two. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports halftime report. Jalen. The Celtics have themselves a close game after two quarters. And while they do have an advantage on the scoreboard, you can be sure they like to grow their lead. They've been putting in the kind of effort that can lead to a positive outcome, which is, thanks for joining us for the Halftime Report. The second half is about to get started. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. The free throw, perfect. And the lead is up to seven. Bulls have it. Hayden to Parker. To Payton. Knocks it down. Off the step back. Oh, he buckled his knees so bad, it didn't matter if he scored or not. That's a win for the internet. Across the timeline, it's Walker. His guys lead here, early stages, third quarter. Levine. Great feed, sets it up. Jabari Parker rocking the rim. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. He was hacked. They let it go. Hayden into the front court. The deficit now up to five. To Parker. 
Ah, can't miss those. Boston with the basketball. Not going down for him this time. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. Almost, but no good. To Kemba Walker. Cash is in for two. Now the Bulls will take the timeout as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Changes coming from both sides right now. Hayden to Parker. Let's it fly from long range. It's rebounded by the Celtics. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Cashes in on the three-point play. The lead now stands at 10. Hayden with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. To Wendell Carter. Jason Tatum with a piece. Out of bounds the call. Last touch by Jason Tatum. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. So Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter powers it through. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Nice finish at the rim. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. To Levine. Uh, passed it off. And count the basket inside. In the last 10 sequences down the court, everybody's touched the ball. You don't see anybody with any kind of negative expressions on their face because everybody's eaten. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Jason Tatum with the block. Celtics have it. You know, sometimes stuffs it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. Stepping east, then stepping west, and laying the ball right down the line. Covering all areas of the map. All by himself. Creates his own shot there. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. To Josh Hart. Here comes the screen. Hart to Zach Levine. Give him two points. High percentage. Ed, sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Doc throws it down and takes a ton of contact as well. Hey, look, lesson learned. If there's a lot of contact on that and the ref didn't call, maybe the defense should get a little bit more physical next time down the court. To Porter. And 
he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. Nope, first one does not go. Good recovery. Hits a second free throw. Slam dunk. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a problem city. Nice pass to set things up. To the rim. Lays it up and in. But most importantly, you have to keep the ball moving. Maybe run some floppy sets, some horn sets. Raise those bigs up, which open up the lane, and let them be the passers to make plays easier for the guards. Slams it down. Now whistle. We'll get a timeout called by Chicago. They're down big in this fourth quarter, and a chance here to empty their bench. To Levine. Hart. And the finish at the rim. Hand down, man down. You gotta get up and contest the shot. Ruling is there was intent. It's an intentional foul. Good foul right there. You wanna stop the clock. First one, count it. And he makes them both. And his canter sends it away. Blocking so many shots only gives you got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Hart. Ennis Cantor. Redshift knocked it away. Oh, some fans should take that ball home as a gift. That's a souvenir. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Knocks it down from mid-range. From 18 feet. At the buzzer. Yes. It drops. A little drama on that one. It's a victory here for the Celtics. They'll take a commanding two games to none lead into game three of this five-game series. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA Playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up.
the Celtics got the win with a comfortable scoring margin. Sometimes a team can hurt itself by being too aggressive on defense. And sometimes a team can guarantee itself a win by using defensive aggression in a focused way, like we saw here today. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Boston Celtics. Player of the game. If you asked him, I'm sure he'd give the credit to his teammate and coaches. But at the end of the day, we know that he's the one that made the biggest impact on this game.